<laughs> oh man, it's time to gobble till you wobble, because it's time for some Thanksgiving Let's Hang Out. Let's go! Surprise, surprise, it is an extra episode this week. Welcome to Let's Hang Out. What's going on, guys? It is, uh, looking at my calendar here and when this episode should be coming out. It's the week of Thanksgiving. It's actually the day before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, you guys. If you're one of those that celebrates the holidays, I appreciate you taking a few minutes, you know, a little bit of time out of your day to come and uh, hang out and chat for a little bit and to listen to what's going on and just kind of enjoy the day, enjoy a little bit of free time for yourself, and I hope you're feeling good. I hope today is a good day for you. So as always... You guys can join any of the conversations and talk about any of the topics we're talking about today in this episode using the hashtag Let's Hang Out Pod. You can find us on every social at Let's Hang Out Pod. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to put big, big, big question marks around this. Hopefully this is done in the right format now because I've recorded this originally when I did the first uh, video episode two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. Um, I did it in the vertical format. So what you guys see right now is, if I put my hands up here, I believe I recorded at about this window, and we were stuck in that spot for pretty much the entire episode. And it took uh, a little bit of time to realize that that's not what Spotify liked. Spotify didn't like that I did it in a strictly vertical format. It worked great on YouTube. It could pull up there and you basically watch it like a long form short video. Um, again, okay, contradictory in itself in the name, but <laughs> that was essentially what it was. So it worked out. What didn't work out was the Spotify side, because you guys were stuck with vertical format on a horizontal frame, and if you turned it trying to view it vertical, it just made it smaller. So, hopefully we've worked out the kinks and this is working right and you guys are getting this in video. If this is just an audio episode, I'm sorry, I'm still working on it, trying to figure it out and get things going. I'm really excited to do the video side of things, and I really wanted to try to get that going before the end of the year, because I do think that video is the format I want to go with going forward. I do want to have video content going forward for a lot of things, not just the pod. I have a lot of other projects I like to do, and I really want to take the time to focus and work on the craft and get better at it. Uh, there's a few adjustments that I obviously need to make with things the way they're set up, and I'll work on that. You know, the background right now is my bedroom. This is my wife in our room and it's it's not working so well for me personally with the background just because it's a private space. I wanted to keep it that way but this is where my desk is at until my office space is done outside uh, in, the, in the bonus room which that's a ways down the line. So to make do with it I'm probably going to make a few changes here. The green screen will probably go up and then we'll have another background but that's details for another day another time. We're here because it's a special episode today, um, and again, it's it's not that it's anything wild and crazy, but I wanted to get an extra episode out here for the holidays. One, to thank you guys for listening for as long as you have if you're a regular listener, and the other just to really challenge myself to see if I could squeeze in a bonus episode, edit, and get it done, full video, full audio, the whole nine. Um, you guys, I, I do really appreciate everybody who's been coming through and listening from all over. You guys are, it's blowing my mind where I'm getting pings from where these, uh, where the pods are getting listened to. So you guys on the other side of the world that are listening, uh, UK and Australia and, and, and the such, you guys, um, first of all, incredible that it's reaching there. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, thank you guys for following. And, um... You know, hopefully we've got some content coming up that you guys will enjoy. Hopefully we'll have some episodes coming up you guys enjoy. Um, but yeah, let's talk holidays. So, right now, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Um, if you guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving or it doesn't fall on uh, on this, this coming Thursday tomorrow for you guys in your country because of whatever the way this, the thing is. I know it's different in different countries. Um... So our Thanksgiving is a time for us to get together with family, to enjoy each other's company, and be thankful for the good that we have in the household. And I really wanted to make this episode because I feel like it's one of those things that we're taught what Thanksgiving is, but we really don't get a chance to say it out loud enough. And even in my own household, I'm, I'm guilty of that. And I think for Thanksgiving, it's one of those times that 
it's a lot of internal thinking, but not so much the external and getting it out. And I feel like I wanted to take some time to do that here to show you guys, to show everybody who's listening and those that are watching, hopefully, this episode that, you know, it's something that you can do. And it's it's different because at face value, telling somebody thank you, telling somebody you appreciate them may not seem like a lot, but for some people, that's huge. For a lot of people, you'd be surprised what a simple thank you does for their day and, and I appreciate you. Um, you know, and that's one thing like with me and my friends, I try to make sure that they know that and I probably say it way more than I need to, but I really, I want them to understand that, that I truly do value friendship and I do, you know, all of my gaming buddies, I appreciate them. The ones that come out and we get together in Vegas, um, this, you know, that's, that's something we talked about a few episodes ago with the Vegas friends episode. Um, and it just, it, it's really stuck out in my head and I really wanted to take a moment to kind of talk about that and what that means. So having those friends and having the ones that I really appreciate that come out, you know, that doesn't take away from any of the other friends that we have, any of the other gaming friends that we have. But these guys that make this trip to come out here, we've created a bond that I think is truly incredible because it's something that I originally when we first started gaming together would have never thought would happen you know and these guys I put right up there with my best friend who I've known for two decades you know it's it's just that's the kind of bond we've created and um, it just it feels good you know so even though I don't see them on a regular basis we do talk every now and again you know sporadically throughout the week it's never full conversations because it's, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. But for you guys, if you check out this episode, every one of you guys, if I've played a game with you, thank you guys. Thank you for the friendship. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday. Um, for my friends, my co-workers over the years, you guys that have listened forever, you know, some of you guys I talk to often, some of you I talk to every now and again, some I haven't talked to in a while. And honestly, I don't care what the time is between you guys. If we've ever been a friend and we've ever talked and I've helped you out or you've helped me out and we've stayed connected in any way for any period of time, um, I do. I think about you guys a lot and I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate the friendship and thank you guys for that. Uh, there's a couple of you that just really stand out in my mind as, as wonderful people that I wish I talked to you more and I feel bad because part of that's on me, a large part of that's on me because I'm just, I'm not so good with the keeping up with conversations unless it's in, in my hand and active going with what I'm doing. You know, I like to keep busy, I like to keep moving, so I genuinely lose conversations and it's a terrible habit I'm trying to work out and trying to get better at. Um, but I've got friends, co-workers from my days back at Office Max looking specifically at you, Greg, if you get to hear this and see this. Um, I love you, brother. I miss you. And I hope that I can reach out and talk to you again and we can figure something out. But I just, I truly appreciate your friendship over the years. Um, there's tons of people from Target over the years. I'm not even going to throw names out. If you guys are still connected with me, you know exactly who you are. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys are just cornerstones of my entire youth growing up really kind of helped get me to where I am today and that again you're going to look at it you're going to go well we only worked together for so long but you were a key part of it and I thank you guys for that um, my family and friends you guys I don't say it enough if you're in my daily life if I'm talking to you on the phone, texting you, calling you, um, if we're messaging back and forth for whatever through any of the social channels that we do things on, um, if you guys are chosen family. And that's that's a phrase, that's a whole other episode, we're going to get into that one, that is actually one I do want to talk about. But chosen friends, chosen family, you guys, I love you from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys, and I hope that the rest of this year, I hope the remainder of this year turns out exactly the way you want it and hopefully less stressed out than 2023 started for a lot of us but it's it's something as simple as that it's being able to take a moment and even for me in this format talking to a camera and trying to get the message across you know it may seem silly it may seem like i'm doing this just to create content but this is genuinely a way that i've thought of that i have the outlet to use i may as well use it 
to get to those friends and family that I don't get to hear from very often who maybe do peek at these episodes and maybe when they see this first video one in the correct format correct format <laughs> um, hopefully they get to see it and they get to hear that thank you and the, the appreciation and it's something that I encourage you guys all to do um, it's it's really it's one of those things I again I put it into my own habit in my own life with my friends making sure I tell them how much I appreciate them for different things and it's it's helping out you know even if it's just a little thing helping each other out I want them to know that I appreciate them uh, if it's conversation just you know hey thanks for hanging out it's it's simple and I don't feel like I did that enough with family this year family and friends and gatherings and such um, our game night crew are some of the most wonderful people we've had in our lives and I look forward to having them over and I'm talking the the real world in my home game night crew I want to I just have to differentiate that for a second in case somebody gets confused because I have my gaming friends for uh, the video game and online side of things then I have my game night crew which is um, actual like people we've grown up with extended family um, friends, co-workers, things like that that come over. We have them over every every month or so, every other month. And we have a game night and just kind of hang out and be nerds, you know? Just kind of relax. Um, but that group, that, that game night crew, um, I, I truly value every night that we have them over because it's such a great way to disconnect from all the chaos going on and to just sit back and have fun. Just to be stupid, play games, laugh at each other, and um, I just, I, I'm so grateful for them, each and every one of them, and I don't know where life would be right now without having them to help out and keeping myself and my wife, I'm sure that she feels the same way about this, uh, but having them over and kind of keeping us leveled and grounded to, to the world because there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And having them over just kind of gives us that moment of relief, you know, that moment to relax and to enjoy life. So, um, if you guys are listening to this and you guys get to see this, thank you guys so much for your friendship, for being part of our lives, and for spending those Saturdays with us, being ridiculous, having some drinks, playing some games, and just, you know... Letting loose for a bit. Speaking of the Game Night crew, I just have to plug this in here because I'm so freaking excited. Uh, we are finally going to be trying, as a group, uh, to play D&D. And if you guys know me outside of this, this channel, this program at all, you guys know that I have had this deep yearning to play D&D for a long time. And I've been scared to ask people to do it because I just, I don't know. You know, I don't know anything, I don't know much about it at all. I shouldn't say I don't know anything, I do know a little bit. Um, but it's one of those I haven't learned how to play, because I don't have a group. Um, I've tried to teach myself a little bit, and I kind of get it. But, you know, I, I understand that it's a very welcoming community in most cases, and it's a matter of finding a group that works for you. But for me, like, trying to find somebody that I enjoy playing that with, felt like that was the biggest piece. Like, I needed to find a group that I was comfortable playing games with. And the game night crew was on top of it. We asked about it last week, or last game night, two weeks ago. <laughs> no, about a week ago, about a week ago. Um, and we, we agreed that we're going to give it a try. We've got two people in our group who uh, play regularly enough that they, they know what they're doing. Um, so we'll have some guides to help us out, but for the most part, most of us are going in blind and learning this for the first time. Uh, I am very excited to talk about that in future episodes because I think it's going to be one of those, if it picks up and we love it, um, I think it's going to be one of the greatest things we do. Because I've I've heard stories and I've watched others play, and it's genuinely the greatest form of storytelling that I think is out there. I think it's very underappreciated for what it's capable of doing with groups, and for those that have a very active imagination and can coordinate details very rapidly. Um, I think it's one of the best ways to go about creating a story and, and uniting a group, you know, because it's not genuinely about winning the game, it's about the adventure created. And I, again, in this form of showing appreciation and how much I, I, I love family and friends, uh, I think this game 
is going to be one of those that really kind of unites us in a different way that we never expected. And I'm very excited to do it. Um, I'm going to be looking up details for my character ahead of time and trying to <laughs> decide which way I want to go. So if you're a D&D person catching this for the first time and you have suggestions for new players, um, let me know. Please message wherever the information is posted around the screen. Um, and, and let me know, please. I would love input on what kind of character you guys think I should be. Um, I would love to be a weapon wielder of some kind, but I don't know. Maybe there's something more fun I haven't thought of. Um, but I, I'm again, I'm genuinely very excited for that. Um, that'll be something I talk more about later. And uh, back on to the topic of Thanksgiving. We'll come back around to this. We'll get out of the, the nerdy nest of things that we just dove into. <laughs> I'll get stuck there. We'll be there for a while. Um, so Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Uh, I am very excited because, like I mentioned in the last episode, this time it's just my little family unit and my mother and father-in-law. And um, we did that because we needed the cooldown. We have had, I, I think I counted it up to seven weeks of non-stop activities going on for my wife and I. And that's including... Uh, two work trips for her, my trip to Vegas, uh, and then just weekend activities, go, go, go. Halloween we had going on, uh, our game night one of the weekends, and uh, just with her being as busy as she was during the week, and me having to pick up a little bit of the slack with the kids during the week to help her out, and it's just... <sighs> it just... Was, it was busy. It was very busy. Uh, so this, this time... Tomorrow is just going to be a very, very casual Thanksgiving. We haven't done one like this in a long time. Um, but I'm excited. I'm making my cranberry sauce that everybody asks for every season. Um, family, friends, if you guys are listening and you hear that I'm making the cranberry sauce, I'm just making enough for tomorrow. <laughs> I will have the large batch, the gifting batch for Christmas time. So if you want one, message me. <laughs> um, but we're doing just a real casual, just easy going Thanksgiving and hanging out, having some fun. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have any kind of movie going or if we're going to try to play something with the, with the grandparents, the in-laws coming over. Um, we had a lot of fun at the beach playing Yahtzee. <laughs> Just something simple. Um, We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Maybe we make that part of our Thanksgiving thing for them going forward. It's just an evening Yahtzee playthrough. <laughs> I'm just excited to not have to stress out so much about doing a lot. Um, the, the turkey's the easy part. We put it in the thing, put it in the roaster, set the temp, set the time, walk away, come back to a perfect turkey. Um, I'm going to do my mashed potatoes. Um, again, another one of those things that everybody asks me to make every year. And tries to steal the recipe. Not gonna get it. <laughs> um, and just having fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun tomorrow. I'm hoping that there's a lot of things going on for everybody. Um, and really just enjoying the time together. If you're one of those that's a Black Friday shopper shopping on Thursday, um, you do your thing. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do it. I think the whole Thursday shopping thing is just... Eh. Black Friday, again, for Friday shopping. Um, I've worked many of them back in my retail days. <sighs> if you work retail, um, get your sleep, get yourself a coffee, make sure you're hydrated and fed before you start your day, and... Um, I mean, good luck. <laughs> if you're a shopper, same thing. Eat, hydrate, good luck, have fun. Um, just be patient with people. Have some grace because we all know that it's going to be an absolute nightmare Wednesday evening, Thursday for the super late shoppers. Wednesday more, or uh, excuse me, Thursday morning for any of the stores that are open. Um, and then just Friday as a whole, going into the weekend. The weekend's not so bad, but. Friday. Friday is a nightmare. Pretty much everywhere. So if you don't have to travel, don't do it. Uh, if you're planning to shop, be smart about it. Be prepared to walk a lot um, and keep things locked. Make sure you lock your vehicles. Uh, I have stories 
of cars being broken into when somebody goes to load something in their car to go walk away and go to another store and come back and their stuff's gone. Um, so, you know, be smart. Be careful out there. Um, but otherwise, you guys, I think I'll call it right there. Wrap things up. You guys, please go out. Have a fantastic holiday. I will see you guys all, hopefully see you guys all in another video in the next episode. Um, but hopefully, I see you in a week or so. Because it should be back to regular recording schedules. It's just a bonus one getting squeezed in here. Um, so we'll end up with three episodes back to back. We'll keep testing out this weekly episode process as much as we can and see if we can make it a regular thing. And you guys, go have a wonderful holiday with your friends and family. Enjoy the rest of your week, the rest of your weekend. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Have a good one, guys.